I were to advise a patient about selecting the best place to have their treatment, I would suggest them to focus on the lab, on the lab, on the IVF lab. An average doctor with the best lab will always deliver best, re best results than the best doctor in the world with an average lab. And as you were saying, I, I am pretty aware of the impact that we can have. So as the medical director, my top responsibility and how I spend most of my time is making sure that the lab is at its best. So again, number one, focus on the lab. Ask for the results. Ask about the technology. Ask any questions to the lab and they should be able to answer you in such a way that you feel confident about the process, the technology that they're handling, the protocols they have and the experience from their embryologists. Of course, the one that is going to be facing you and will be in charge of making decisions and in charge of your treatment is your doctor. So second, I will focus on who is going to lead the team that is going to be treating you. You need to feel reassured, you need to feel confident with your doctor because at the end, this is not ophthalmology. I'm not going to look into your eye. I'm going to be performing intimo, intimo uh, physical exams. So you need to feel comfortable with your doctor. My suggestion would be, this is your life project probably. This is your family project. And this is private. So top priority is make sure that you're going to be in the best possible hand. That's top priority. The second top priority would be to make sure that you have access to this uh, top quality treatment. And this is where you have to look for options sometimes. Sometimes, even if you were in the States, the best fertility treatment is not going to be offered at home. Maybe you have to travel to a different state or a different country. It's very, very difficult for labs around the world to compare against what we have here. In terms of results, technology, one example is the AI that we're using to assist embryologists in sperm selection for, for ICSI. Right now, we are, we are the only ones in the world opening. So, it's not only about the cost. Now, when you decide to travel abroad, it has to be, the cost has to be low enough for it still makes sense when you include the traveling costs and when you consider that patients don't get pregnant the first time all the time, you may have to compromise. Guadalajara, Mexico City have a fairly good number of uh, reputable IVF centers, not like New York, of course, but you have options.